All right. Good evening. Uh, we are live. This is uh, Dr. McGowan with Carrie Gastro and New You Weight Loss. And tonight we're going to talk about endoscopic weight loss options, specifically the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, which is the newest, uh, most state-of-the-art non-surgical weight loss option. And this is really an exciting time uh, because we now have multiple options, uh, non-surgically effective options that we can perform endoscopically, which means through the mouth and um, using flexible instruments uh, that we would use typically to perform examinations for reflux or stomach ulcers. We're now able to use the same instruments to perform weight loss procedures. And so let's talk about that. What I'm going to do is I'm sharing my entire screen here. So I'm just going to park myself in the bottom right and we'll look at this slideshow. So again, thanks for joining and let's go, uh, let's dive into this. So the reason um, this is really an exciting time is because traditionally we had uh, very limited options between the two extremes. When we're looking at weight loss, there was a gap. So um, until very recently, we had diet and exercise and lifestyle change, which is certainly the foundation of any weight loss program. But realistically, that doesn't always work out for everybody. And then the next step would be surgical. Bariatric surgery is the most effective uh, weight loss treatment. But for many uh, individuals, it's maybe not uh, what they're interested in doing or ready to do. Uh, it, it does seem uh, more drastic and, and permanent. And so um, between the two extremes, until recently, there really was not much to offer. But now we do have uh, excellent op opportunities and they're performed endoscopically. And this is a very rapidly advancing field. Just in the past two to three years, we've seen the introduction of three different stomach balloon systems these work in a similar manner to fill, uh, to fill the stomach, uh, create a sense of fullness and lead to weight loss. And we also saw the introduction of the Aspire Assist device, which is a different concept. This is more of a long-term weight loss uh, procedure that uh, allows for the removal of food after eating. It's really an alternative, a non-surgical alternative to an internal gastric bypass. In this case, we're placing a tube which connects to a skin port and allows for removal of, of a portion of the food uh, of each meal after eating. So a lot of development just in the past two to three years. And now we can add to that a device known as overstitch. And this is how we perform ESG. And this is a endoscopic suturing system. So before we jump to that, I, I just want to give a brief overview of the gastric balloons. These were the first endoscopic weight loss um, procedures. Uh, there's the most commonly performed and they still have a, an excellent role in terms of weight loss. They are placed and removed endoscopically. They're fluid filled. There is one uh, gas filled balloon system that's actually swallowed and then removed endoscopically. But in most cases, these are placed uh, endoscopically filled with sterile fluid and then removed after six months. And during that six month period, they're, they're sitting in the stomach, they're creating a sense of fullness and they're actually slowing down stomach emptying significantly. And that means you fill up fast and uh, you're more full between meals. And in average, that overall, that would lead to three times the weight loss compared to just diet and exercise alone, which is fairly substantial. And that equates to about 20 to 50 pounds overall. Um, so these are uh, safe, they're completely reversible. And uh, a great option for someone who's really, who really wants to kickstart their weight loss program. And um, generally, we, you know, it's someone who, who needs to jumpstart things or understands you know, what to do, but needs to really change courses and facilitate that. These are re really good options. When these balloons work, they're great. So our patients overall lose an average of 40 pounds. That's a lot. We've, uh, we have patients who lose uh, certainly more than that. Um, but, uh, once these are placed endoscopically and, and, and individuals adjust to them, they're, they're able to lose a significant amount of weight. They work with a dietitian uh, at least once a month for an entire year. So that means after they're removed, they still work with a dietitian. And so that's really important because we're trying to create a comprehensive weight loss program and, and long-term results. However, uh, it's important to know that these balloons can cause nausea and potentially a lot. And I typically advise my patients that they can feel like garbage for a few days. And that, that's just a fact because the, the stomach takes some time to adjust to the balloon. 95% of people adjust within two, three days to a week, and then they feel fine. However, there is an early removal rate of approximately five to 10%. And um, that's legit. It's worldwide. It's hard to predict. So we do advise patients that there's a chance they may never fully adjust to it and they may need it removed. 
Uh, and it's very important to keep in mind that this is short term only. Okay, so these balloons are in place for six months. They then need to be removed. Um, and so what happens after that? You know, there is the potential for weight regain. We try to put all the tools in place so that during that half a year in which the balloon is in, uh, our patients are learning to do everything right and they can keep the momentum going. And in general, they do. But this is a short term. And so what if we were, instead of creating a sense of fullness with a foreign object in the stomach, what if we could actually reduce the stomach size endoscopically? And that's what brings us to the endoscopic sleeve uh, gastroplasty. So this is a way to endoscopically reduce the size of the stomach internally. And we're, we're placating and folding the stomach internally using endoscopic tools to create this sleeve-like shape. The, the sleeve is uh, a banana-shaped stomach as opposed to where it starts, which is uh, the stomach is really just a, a um, stretchy bag. So we're reducing that and creating this shape that is less flexible, it's restrictive, and very similar to the surgical sleeve gastro, gastrectomy. Um, sleeve gastrectomy is the most common bariatric surgery performed currently. And with this, with ESG, we're able to achieve a similar shape, but through a much different technique. And so this is a non-surgical sleeve. The way we accomplish this is by using a normal upper endoscope, the same thing, tool that we would use to examine the esophagus or stomach for reflux or other stomach issues but we're attaching to the end a device known as overstitch, which allows us to place sutures through the mouth within the stomach. And that's the real uh, development here and, and the real advance. It's useful to see a video to understand how this works. So under sedation, uh, under anesthesia, uh, uh, patients are sleeping. We pass this camera into the stomach and advance it into the body of the stomach. And now we can see what that looks like. We're entering the stomach. The stomach is filled with air and is large. And what we're doing is marking the front and back walls of the stomach using a device called argon plasma, similar to a laser. So we're making these marks because our goal then will be to use sutures to bring those two lines together, drastically reducing the size of the stomach. So here you can see we're placing, we will be placing sutures from the front wall to the back wall and then back. And uh, it'll be multiple bites per suture, which we then can cinch tightly and bring the two walls together and you'll see how that works now. Starting at the bottom of the stomach and then working our way to the top. And so you can see here, the stomach is being placated within and we're creating this sleeve shape. This creates overall a 70 to 80% reduction in the size of the stomach. And what happens is the sutures that we're using to reduce the size uh, allow the stomach to heal in that shape. And uh, once it heals, it remains in that shape. And again, all of this is accomplished without any external incisions, which is, is a key point. And this last, so we can see uh, this is a patient who uh, immediately before the procedure, we can see the picture on the left, a normal sized stomach. Immediately after, you can get a sense looking down into the stomach that it's much uh, narrower and significantly smaller in size. And then the same patient three months later, exact same orientation and shape to the stomach. So it does heal in that final shape. So this ESG is a completely incisionless procedure. Because of that, we're able to do it on a same day outpatient basis. The procedure itself takes approximately one to two hours, and then our patients will recover for about two hours in the uh, recovery area until they're discharged home. In general, we can anticipate mild nausea and pain. Um, overall, it's, it's quite minimal, uh, and most people return to work within two to three days. So very rapid recovery from this procedure despite how much change we're actually producing to the stomach. This does result in a 70 to 80% reduction in stomach size. We're creating a much smaller stomach. It's also uh, much, uh, there's, it's also restrictive. Okay, it can't stretch quite as much. So there's a lot of uh, early fullness that occurs when eating. Uh, there's also slower emptying, we think. So um, smaller meals and early uh, fullness. And that leads to significant weight loss. Overall, uh, multiple studies have shown that the average weight loss is about 20% of total body weight, and it's sustained. This is a long-term durable procedure. We know it's sustained for at least two years and probably longer, though there are ongoing studies. But 20%, uh, if you're starting at 250 pounds, you could expect to lose an average of 50 pounds. Uh, individuals certainly lose more than that. We also see, because of the weight loss, improvements in blood sugar, cholesterol, and blood pressure. 
This is a study from uh, last year, uh, uh, one of the larger studies from the United States, and uh, this is looking at total body weight loss. So on the, the bottom axis, we have months after the ESG procedure, and then on the vertical axis is the percent of total body weight loss. And a couple key uh, findings here, at about six months, most people lose 15% of their total body weight. They continue to lose at the one year mark around 17%, and then finally we see by two years, 21% weight loss. So uh, pretty significant, and you can see that the slope of the curve would continue outward uh, um, for more than two years. So there is no weight regain occurring during that time. It's worth mentioning that the surgical sleeve gastrectomy leads to an approximate 25 to up to 30% total body weight loss. So you can see not quite as much as a true surgical procedure where a portion of the stomach is removed, but still substantial. So who should consider ESG? Anybody with a body mass index of 30 or higher, body mass index is a calculation uh, based on height and weight. If you were five foot four and had a weight of 175 pounds, that would be a BMI of 30. But anybody above 30, uh, and typically we're looking at individuals with a BMI of 30 to 40 or up to 45, and this has been performed uh, up to BMIs of 70. But uh, in general, we're looking at that 30 to 40, 45 range. And this would be indicated for someone who's been unable to lose weight through diet and exercise alone and um, is either not interested in surgery or not eligible for surgery. And in general, we reserve this for individuals who have no major medical problems. So, you know, we want to use, provide the, the best outcomes and, and really offer the, the best uh, procedure for each person. Now, as someone who's had complications from obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, in general, they may benefit more from a, a true surgical procedure as opposed to ESG. But for anyone else who's struggling with their weight, has not achieved what they want to through diet and exercise, and is looking for a long-term non-surgical option, that ESG is a great option. So that's that concludes the overview. Um, there is more information available on our website, our main website, carrygastro.com, as well as our dedicated weight loss website, newuweightloss.com. Please like this video if you liked it. And there will be more to come. We'll delve into more details uh, during later sessions. But again, thank you for joining me. And we will shut this down.